I'm Charles D'Angelo. In a perfect world, people would all support the efforts of others to better themselves. But unfortunately, our world isn't perfect. Often the people that we feel should be our biggest supporters end up being our biggest saboteurs. This can make us feel hurt and betrayed, and it can seriously derail our efforts when we're trying to make better choices around food and around our health in general. In most cases, this is not a conscious effort on their part to make us fail. Instead, the sabotaging behavior is an unconscious result of their own negative feelings about themselves. If you're succeeding, then why are they failing? If you come from the same place and you have the similar excuses for keeping bad habits, then your success means they don't have any excuses. And this feels really uncomfortable to people. You losing weight and getting healthy can also change the power dynamics of a relationship. If you've always been the heavier sibling, for example, then your smaller sibling might enjoy a feeling of superiority that comes from the size difference, whether or not they're fully aware of that feeling. And you coming into their territory is threatening. It can also be threatening for them to see you start getting more attention from the opposite sex. Again, this stems from a lack of self-confidence on their part. If a person needs to feel superior to others in order to feel worthy, that's really not a confident person. Finally, your journey can change your relationship because of things you normally share together. If your mom always baked cookies or pies for you and now you're not eating them, she might feel hurt. If you and your cousin would normally watch football and drink a few beers together, then they really might not know how to hang out with you anymore. All of these underlying issues can result in efforts to sabotage you. And this, combined with you wanting to continue on with improving your health and making good choices, can put a real strain on these relationships. The first and most important course of action has to be communication. Tell these people outright, I've made this decision to improve my health and it's really important to me. As someone who's also important to me, I hope that you'll understand that I have to make different choices than I used to and I hope you're gonna support me. When you keep offering me beer and pizza, it's really difficult for me to keep doing this and it matters a lot to me. If they continue, then communicate again. Look, I told you how important this is to me and I asked for your support. If for whatever reason, you won't support me in this, then I'm gonna have to step back a little. This doesn't mean that you have to stop seeing your friends or family. Think of other times and other places that you guys can meet. Invite them over to your place in the afternoon when food and alcohol won't be expected and you can have tea or coffee together. Meet at a park, meet at a playground if you have kids. Uh, invite them over for an after dinner walk. You could go to a museum on the weekend or a play or, or visit an art gallery. You could also invite them to the gym or yoga class, but don't be surprised or upset if they don't go. They're gonna make their own health choices and trying to convince them could really backfire. We're used to our social events revolving around food and drinks, but this doesn't have to be the case. Really, we gather because of the people and because of the connection. We want human interaction. If you look at a typical kid's birthday party, you're gonna see plates of barely touched cake lying all around, ready to go into the garbage. They might get excited at the thought of cake, but really what they want is to run and play around together. If all these efforts fail and someone close to you continues to sabotage you, then you're gonna have to take a step back a little more and for real this time. You can tell them that once you've established your healthy eating and your schedule and you're not so susceptible, you can hang out again. But in the meantime, it's just too difficult. Family and friends are important, but you know what's even more important? Your health. Make the choices that work for you, and those who don't respect those choices will simply have to learn to work around them. If you're important to them, they'll do so.